So I'm not going to tell someone that they shouldn't be doing something if they want to fucking do that. Go yeah. do it, man. Like, whatever yeah. makes you happy at the end of the day. Yeah, and I'd say, too, like, on the flip side of that house thing, for me, I'd be happy that he's doing that shit. Like, if yeah. he told me I'm looking for a house, I'd be like, fucking dope. And if he needs any kind of help, like, he needs someone to roll with him to look at a property, I'm going. Yeah. If he needs some, someone to help move, I'm probably not going to help. It's just annoying. <laughs> I've done it two or three times, and, and it's fucking... It. <laughs> But even like the the place we are right now, where, where we record, uh, you know, Mark's talked about turning this into a, into a, a studio, and then like we've already agreed, whatever money we get from this would go into that. There is no like, oh no, man, because this is technically your house, yeah. <laughs> and like whatever. I'm like, fam, I don't like, I don't need the money. Like, fucking, it's gonna be used for the shit that we're doing. Why not? Yeah, it's like, just and we're smart enough to just see the future more of like it's gonna be a lot more money and more right. money and so like just fucking do it like, like I again it's just that having the the ability to be able to see someone and be like no like I might can't do what you do right now in these positions because of whatever limitations that I have right. but I can support what we're doing in other ways to keep the shit moving I think it's also just confidence in oneself because like using the example of uh I would say the Facebook thing or the mm-hmm. Apple thing when they were like starting out and they were going public. Right. What would they do? They were like, nah, they're not getting credit. They're not getting that stock option, even though they were here from the beginning. Because I want that money. It's that, it's that greed shit, right? right? And I feel like that's that's just lack of confidence because it should be like, yeah, yeah, let's all take a fucking piece. Right. I'm so confident in this thing that we're doing and, and whatever that I know I'm still going to get that money through other shit. Exactly. Like... And that's like the avenues of like all this sh- that all the shit that we do. It's like I know he has ideas for shit. I have ideas for shit. We're using this shit to launch other shit, but we know it's like all right. Once we get enough money to fund whatever the other shit that we want to do, we know what we have to do to take it there. Uh, you know what I mean? So that goes back to that confidence of being like, okay, that's fine. Like it doesn't matter. Like, and also it's it's <laughs> like the whole. Uh, when we have our share, whatever share of the money, you know, when mm-hmm. we split it up, you're responsible for that shit. Yeah. It's like, if you do something really stupid, stupid, and lose it all, too bad. You know, I might buy you some food or something, right. but that's, that's it. You know? Like, you made your choice with yeah. it. Like, in, like, people have said shit in the past uh, about, like, um, this is like when we were still in Huntington Beach, but... Um, oops, gave up where we went. Uh, <laughs> um, kind of there just in time. <laughs> but uh, I, when, when we would like, y- your your brother would feature us and shit. Everyone, like people would make little comments. That's a whole lizard. Um, oh, yeah, they live here. I've been living, looking at that shit this whole time. But uh, <laughs> they um, they would uh, make comments and be like, oh, you're, you guys are using Manny for clout. Or like, oh, like why are you having a... Uh, Manny post your stuff for followers and whatever, whatever. And I'd always sit there and be like, "Are you not doing the same thing, yeah. thing to try to get this weird roundabout kind of uh, look from him?" And I would just sit there and be like, "I don't." Also, why wouldn't you use the people yeah. around you? Well, it's the thing, and they're happy to do it. And I just don't. I don't get like stuff like that. But then that goes back to I think this podcast got way more serious. Yeah, than I'm to. <laughs> but. Uh, I, I think that is honestly the general uh, thing that is wrong with the... And I'm going to say minorities, because I'm a fucking minority, and I live in a place that's minorities and everything, right? That is the general thing that's wrong with minorities and that mindset. For some reason, the people that lose or that, or that they are losing, they will, they will look for things to shoot at people that will make them come back down to their level... To then fuck up whatever they have going on. Right, because it's easier than actually working. Exactly. And, that, and that's what we see all the time. Like, all these rappers and shit getting shot and everything. Like, rest in peace to King Von. That situation, however, like, it's a fuck situation. But if you know that you're making it out of a place like Chicago, you have, you're arguably one of the biggest rappers new rappers that are, that are fucking up and coming. I would look at shit totally different to want to just start a uh, a fucking fight in the club or outside of the club and then end up, you know, some dude from the other dude's crew comes from behind and shoots him and kills him. And now 
the dude who just released an album, who the dude who was fucking on everyone's playlist, who was popping, now is dead. His three very small children don't have a father. All these people, this, like this team he was building to fucking take out of the hood, they still stuck where they at. Yeah. And I'm like, it's because, like, to quote Boondocks, for a nigga moment that could have been avoided, you know? And, and, and that's the shit that I look at. Like, people... It's always the lower the lower people. I have I have friends that have way more fucking money than me, right? And we sit and we talk about shit. And they look at me and they always go, like, yo, you should be proud. You're doing this, that, and third, you, you know, you got this, you fucking whatever. And I'm like, I'm like, thanks. And I'm always like, yo, you have so much more than me. But like the things that I do, you're like, that's cool. And I look at you, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like, shout out to my barber. Sh- shout out to Knack. But this nigga, he just, he's opening a barber shop when literally from this past summer, he had to uh, leave the shop he was at because of the pandemic. Wasn't cutting hair, right? So for three, I think three months, he said he wasn't cutting hair. And he was like, fuck, I got to make money, you know, all these things, right? And he was just like, I'm going to open a barber a barbershop. He had, he had opened one previously. <clears throat> and Nag, he's from Eastside, Long Beach. So he had opened one previously, and, like, little things happened, and he just didn't want to do it back in that area. So he was like, yeah, I had a vision that I just wanted to open up a barbershop next to my house. And driving down the street one day, he had, he had money saved up. He saw a four lease sign on a place. Three months later, this shop is opening up in a pandemic and everything like that. And I told him, I was just like, fam, like no one can not tell me about like hard work or like fucking doing what you're supposed to do when it's your time. Because you just did that. And he was like, here's the thing. You don't know how, you don't know how much hate I'm getting on that shit. And I'm like, for what? Where, was, where's the shop at? Where is it at? Uh, I'm not going to say it because uh, I don't know if he's ready to say it oh, yet. Okay. But, um, we'll mention it as soon as it's open. <laughs> no, hopefully. hopefully I'm yeah. going to try to have him on. Cause, I'll, I'll go too. Be like, yeah. can you shave a head? Because <laughs> like, like, that's the homie. But um, uh, he was just saying, like, yeah, there's people I grew up with that think I'm I'm acting different or, you know, you know, I, I'm not representing where I'm from or whatever. And he's like, these are people that literally grew up on the same block as me. And they look at me now, like, doing shit. And they're like, oh, like, they have something negative to say. And he's like, fam, you had the same 24 hours. You could have you did the same shit. You didn't. So he was like, I hate when people talk about, like, all these things about flexing and want to buy this and that. He's like, I started a business. There's a, there's a very... Like, it's a thin line, but there's a, t- a distinction between flexing and being proud of the work that you just did. Right. Flexing is something like, oh, I just bought this PlayStation 5. Right. But being proud of, like, I did all this fucking work to open up a business. Like, it's, you know, very tedious shit, and now I find that's what I want. In a pandemic where no one had money. hmm You know what I mean? Like, that's the shit I look at. I'm just like, damn, you know? And, and I told uh, another friend of mine, I was just, because he was saying, he was like, you know, you're almost 30. Do you see yourself making more friends? And I was like, for like my inner circle of friends, probably not. But I was like, more friends, yeah. But I was like, it won't be like like how it was in my 20s and when I was younger. Because we would just make friends off stupid shit. Like, oh, you like the same TV show? We, we're, we both say funny shit. We're friends or whatever, right? I was like, now it's different. Because all my friends that I've made since like probably 25, 26, they've all been better than me at something. Like it, it, like, and I'm like, the people that I want to be around is people that I actually want to learn shit from, because those are the people that motivate me. Yeah. Like the the podcast I do with Jason, like Jason is, I think forty one or forty two at this point, and Jason's been like schooling me, and I'm not having I have no fucking fear of saying or ashamed of it. He's been schooling me since I was twenty two, and like that's my bro because I look at him and I'm like, yo, I see what you're doing. Like, tell me how to get to certain things. And he's helped me. Like, this whole pride and ego shit needs to get out the way because I'm like, yeah, Jason might not fucking have a a, a dope-ass car or fucking whatever, right? Whatever dumb shit we, we, we like to gloat about jewelry or all this other shit. But Jason has a family. He has a house in a nice-ass area. He has all this shit that, like, I value. And he's generally happy. Yeah. From what I've seen, you know? Yeah, it's like, I don't care about, like, 
having all this like, oh, I got the freshest J's and everything like that and all this shit. Because I'm like the people who who that I've known who have that shit, for the most part, don't have much else to show for it. <laughs> yeah. But oh, so it's just that that simple thing of if you're let's say. I don't know, constantly, um, you're, 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 the, you're the top person in the street, you know, you're just, right. you're just being everyone, blah, 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 <clears throat> you're never learning, you're never growing, because right. what's the point, like, I'm constantly beating these people, I don't gotta learn more, but if you go somewhere where you're not the best, and you wanna be, you're gonna learn really fast, and you're gonna learn a lot more than the person just constantly winning. Yeah. So. It's, we gotta... We got to cut the pride and ego shit because I feel like there's a lot of people out here who are friends like me and Mark who want to do shit, but they don't want to see the next, like their friend get above them or they don't want to see fucking X, Y, Z of that. And I'm like, yeah, if the whole team's winning, who gives a fuck? Who cares? Yeah. And I think about Chicago, I think you were saying, um, it's just, it's so short sighted. When, like, you're just jealous and you end up doing something like that where you fucking kill someone. Right. It's so short-sighted because let's say he did, uh, you know, he made it and he didn't die. and He, like, just went out to be a lot more. Right. Because of that, people are going to want to jump on the bandwagon of, like, oh, let's go find the next person from Chicago in that area. Right. You know, to do that. That's basically what happened to Compton. Right. So, you know, like, just let's find the next Dre. Let's find the next whatever. You right. know, let's do this. So... There's that. It's just be proud of your friends, man. Be happy for them. You know, use that shit as inspiration to to go after that thing that you always want to go after. Right. And that whole thing about my brother and you know, if anyone wants to hate on it that I'm I'm using him, I'm not using him, man. Like, cause it, if we weren't actually putting work into this, he would straight up tell me no. Right. That's yeah. He's not the type of person type of person to just. Let me just help out, waste my time. Right. You know, let me let me uh, take uh, time away from my family, my my work. You know, work that's actually paying me a lot more. <laughs> right. He's yeah, cause we don't pay him at all. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, what? Yes, so he, would, he would legit say no. He would be like, no, you're not. And he would tell me straight up, like, you're not really serious about this. You're, you got no plan. You got no whatever. Right. So, and that's the thing too. It's it's a it's a nice lesson to 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 learn too. Like, don't don't help out everyone. Right. How about people that are actually putting in work to, to, to do something? You know, they just need a little nudge from you, a little, like, a little help, right. a little cosign. And that's the thing. I can't wait to be at that level, man, to be where my brother is and above. Because, like, I can't wait to be at the level of where my brother is and above because I just, I can't wait to, to fund some, some you know, younger person's idea. And I see the drive and the passion and, yeah. and whatever they're doing. And I'd be like... You just need money. You just need this little thing to to make that fucking work. Here you go. Let's fucking do it. Yeah. And then collect my percentages. <laughs> <laughs> Taxing you niggas, What's man. Up? The fuck. <laughs> but yeah, moral of the story is, man. Let the pride and ego shit go, cause it literally leads you nowhere. It, it, you want to be the the toughest dude in the streets? Cool. I don't know many tough niggas that live past a certain age, honestly. Like, then the ones that I know, they moved out. <laughs> there's a, there's of, a of reason. The area. Yeah, there's yeah. a reason people say, like, you're not going to make it past 25 <laughs> when you're, you're that tough dude and always right. looking for drama. It's just, it catches up to you. You want to be, like, you know, head of whatever, feel like whatever, whatever. That's fine. That's cool. However, are you willing to go and go through everything that comes with that? You know what I mean? Because. Like I always say, everyone looks at this shit and thinks it's cool, but I'm like, I know when it happens, when we have to have these really annoying meetings with white people, and they're going to say, like, hey, what do you guys think about this, that, and third? Do you feel like blah, blah, blah? And now I have to sit there and be like, all right, let's not be a nigga right now. And like, <laughs> let's not keep it real. <laughs> yeah, let's listen to this and everything. And then, like, <clears throat> like you know, we've talked about it off, like, like Mark said, you know, fucking when it comes time to talk to these people and everything like that, I I have to play that position or role. So I know that I can't go into shit and be like, all right, let me, like, if I don't like this shit, I'm just going to flip out and be like, no, fuck this or whatever. Right? I know that. <laughs> That's my job to flip out. <laughs> but I know that we understand that we both have, like, interest, our interest at hand in this. So we there's no selfishness to be like, no, we should fucking do that. And whatever, because at the end of the day, 
if we go wherever we end up going and we all win, it's way more smoother than one person winning and everyone else feeling like, fuck this. I don't, I don't like this situation and everything like that. And do you really want to go through that? Like, do you really want to break up, like, the idea of something that could have been built from, like, what it was to, like, now you have to re... You have to find all these other people. You have to trust all these other people and shit. And that's always been my mindset on shit like this. You start it from a foundation. The foundation grows into what it becomes. But the core is still the core. So, you know, like, regardless of whatever, if fucking one person can do something at this point, that's a part of the core. Oh, we got them because we know how they think. X, Y, Z, if this person decides, like, you know what? I want to start doing this. Cool. We trust him because he's part of the core. And we know he's going he's gonna to fucking figure it out or whatever, right? It's like I've seen so many companies, it's these like, these last years do that shit and then split up and do some other shit. And they just end up in a weird position. Yeah. I think, again, it has a lot to do with pride, ego, yeah. and all that crap. And if they were just to support each other, it'd probably succeed. <clears throat> Be like, all right, it's it's we got we got time to work on your idea. We got the capital. Let's fucking do it. Let's just do it. Let's make it work. And I might I may not have the confidence you have, but I'm still gonna help you out and build that confidence right. up. You know, I'm not gonna take that shit away from you. Right, right. So, but all right. Hopefully that's uh, it's a good episode for you guys. <laughs>